the movie Avengers. Most of us have seen that movie, have seen the ending, where the last battle with those aliens was right here in New York City. Now we don't have Avengers, right? But we have doctors, nurses, all those healthcare workers are fighting and battling the coronaviruses, COVID-19. You wanna be a superhero, everyone? Right now, take out your phone and text someone. Text anyone. Text a friend that you haven't spoken to in a long while. You are a friend that knew everything about that person, even though you don't speak to that person anymore. But you know that person normally gets depressed. Now is the time for you to text that person. Now is the time for you to tell that person, reach out to that person and just say, Hey, how you doing? How you holding up? Trust me. You have a friend, a family member in some department that's working right now, that's important out there for all of us. And it's fighting this battle. All of us together, we need to look out for each other by right now texting someone and ask them how they're doing. Or text a worker that's out there risking their life for all of us. Text that person and tell them, thank you. Thank you so much for what you're doing for all of us today. You know, I remember so many different things in life. And you reflect, and I know a lot of people, not just me, at this moment in time with all what's happening right now, that's very new for a lot of us. You are not in this alone, it's new for a lot of us. You have flashback and remember certain things in your life, whether it's good things or bad things. You have reached so far in this battle. You have, you have fought so far to be wherever you are in your life right now. You see the city that they're battling in right now? That's right now that New York City, that this fight is happening. We are the epicenter of, of America. We are the epicenter right here in New York City. It's not just a battleground right now. It's a graveyard. And I'm saying it's a graveyard because 1,374 souls as of today. It, should, it is wrong that all these amazing people is going. So let's help them, everyone. Let's stay home. I want all of you to take your phone out again and text someone and ask them, hey, are you okay for at least the next two months? Find out. A lot of people got laid off. Let's try our best and reach out to some of those people and see what we can help as little or who we can contact to help them. We all have to band together to make sure this virus is gone once and for all. And this is the time, at this moment, start to think positive, start to think for the now, start to share, start to help one another, start to live as one. Trust me, everyone, this is just the surface. You guys have to pull together, every one of you, Every one of you have to bind together now. Pull together, don't see race, don't see religion, believe. If you haven't looked at my video that I posted yesterday with my amazing jab, believe all I want you all to do. I don't want you to think about going beyond your religion. I don't want whatever you believe in and to break it. I want you to believe in what I am telling you as well. I don't want you to pray for yourself, pray for your family, and pray to protect this world. Ask for forgiveness for whatever you may have done in the past. Look at what's happening now and will be happening for the next couple of months. And you ask for forgiveness for whatever you have done wrong and you thank God for whatever you have gained in this life in the past couple of years and genuinely say thank you and you will see how prayers and whatever you believe in and believe in this as well and you will see how it all is going to come together and you will start seeing a different light believe all I want you all to do is believe and think about positive things I know it's going to get bad I am seeing it here my cousin He's right now battling for his life as well. And Chris, I want to tell you, you are my prayers every minute of the day. And I love you. I know I'm going to see you soon, bro. 
We all love you. So every one of us is battling. We are in this thing together. This is no longer a joke, everyone. I'm not scaring you. I want you to think positive. We need to stand together and start praying. Stop bashing. Stop talking about each other negatively. Look out for your neighbors. Look out for your friends. Trust me. Right now, suicide rate has gone up. Reach out to a friend that's depressed, a family member. Don't care who they are. Reach out to them. They may need to hear from you. You might be their superhero. You might be their hero to save their life. Do this, people. Be a superhero as well. Let's stay home and let's reach out to loved ones, friends, and let's not use the word enemies, people you have not spoken to for some negative reason. Let's get rid of negativity. We're thinking positive right now. We are in this together, every one of us. Pray, think positive, meditate, do job. You hear my background music? I want you all to be calm. You see the pictures in the background, the videos, whatever you see is why I want you all to believe more in you. If you're feeling depressed, do this right now. Take a deep breath and hold it until you cannot breathe anymore and let it go and immediately grasp for another breath. And you will see. Remember that life that you have right now. Those of you who might think you have to give up, don't. Again, to the movie Avengers. The Avengers was beat, just like our doctors working around the clock. Nurses, sorry if I'm only using doctors and nurses, it's all of you, essential workers as they are putting it right now. Listen, do your part. Reach out to that person. Those people never give up. These doctors, these people are not giving up. The maintenance workers, the EMTs out there, the police officers, the firefighters, the military, all of you, our governors, our mayors, everyone, the President of the United States, no matter who the hell you are, everyone is in this together. Let's work together, let's help each other now. This is the time to help each other, everyone. Don't fight with anyone. Don't, what is, people, domestic violence is hurting me to hear about this. You're stuck somewhere with someone you said you love. Mend this, fix this. How could you hit someone you love? How could you irritate someone over and over or do things to hurt the one you love that you said you love? Now is that opportunity to make sure and understand each other and love each other. Do not hit anyone. And those of you who know you have a friend or a family member who has history of being in a domestic violent relationship, please, I'm asking you guys, reach out to that person. And if you are seeing this and you're in such relationship, try your best somehow to reach out to someone, give a friend a code up front that if you need them, let them come with backup. The cops, everything that they got to take care of you and take you out of it for once and for all, but make that right decision. We are in this together, help your friends and family, but help us to help you as well. I love you all, trust me. I think I sat here thinking about my family members, my rasters, all the messages I have been getting, the love and the support I have been getting because every single one reaches out to me, asks me first, how are you Ra? How are you and your family? How are you guys coping? And I want to tell you guys, thank you. I love all of you. I love all of you from me and from my loved ones as well.
thank you so much for the love and the support and I this is the least I can do for all of you is to come out here and show you guys some positivity instead of doing negative things as I told you all breed think about everything positive your family members the people you're with so let me take a water break fall and spring keep drinking the water yesterday my mom she came up and she was watching a movie with us and when she was leaving she touched me on my face and she told me she loved me she went downstairs and all this have you thinking and it's just not me I know it's every one of you thinking about your family right now everyone is thinking about your loved ones your kids but if we do the right thing and we all become a superhero we can help beat this if we remain ignorant towards this and towards others we are not going to reach anywhere we're going to be battling with this for a very long time let's all think positive let's all stand together let's all help each other I love Batman and I love Superman I love them being friends I hated that they had to fight if that's a storyline but think about it sometimes friends have disagreements on the way they do things you might drift apart or you might see things each other way and come together but if you happen to drift apart think I want you to think about all the greatness that person was in your life at that time and I want you to reach out to that person as well be that superhero be that Batman be that Superman but we can give them the support we need call them I know some of you can't see your family members and it's hurting you but as you say we loving each other from afar now we have technology with us if this was a time where we didn't have technology think about that somehow you're able to keep connected and I want to tell you something how you're gonna appreciate this have you guys ever thought about a blind person's life Have you ever thought about a blind person who has that mother or father or brother or sister who shows them all that love? They can hear them, they can feel them, maybe they can smell them, say I love you. But they will never be able to see the person who is telling them I love you. A deaf person and a dumb person, if they are both Think about this, they will never hear the person who shows them all that affection tell them I love you with their voice, especially if they can speak and they cannot hear. Think about that. Think about a person who wants to show their affection and they want to give someone the same hug that that person gives them all the time and show them that affection but they have no arms put yourself in everyone's position today think about the positive in a person this is not the time to make enemies this is a time for us all to show love and appreciation in my early 20s, I learned New York City. This is my home. I cannot go anywhere in the world and I tell people this all the time. I miss here. I miss this city. When I would leave the city and go out on vacation or anything, I always miss New York City. I have no idea why. Like Fly Life, BJ, I interviewed him. You guys who haven't seen it can go back and look at it. But I interviewed him, he has been in the city, New York City, for the past 10 years. And he loved this city, he went crazy on that video in that interview. And it's the same way, I, it's a passion you gain for the city. 
and today to see my fellow brothers and sisters of this city falling victim of COVID-19 is hurtful. We need to help by staying off the streets as much as we can. There's still too many people on the streets. Look out for your family members. Look out for your friends. Do what is right. How many of you in New York City who has been here ever take headphones or earplugs, put it in your ear, just put music on and just walk the streets admiring this amazingly beautiful city. How many of you have ever done that? If you have done that, you can you know the passion. It's not about just visiting the monuments in New York City. It's living here, it's feeling it. You must feel the vibration. I spoke about 9-11 already and how much this has reminded me of 9-11 and how much is this reminding me again about 2008. But we got through those and we could get through this again together, everyone. I believe this. All I need for you all to do is believe it as well. Connect. Connect with your maker. If you don't believe in God and you believe in science or whatever, just for some reason believe in greatness. For those of you who believe in different religions and different cultural backgrounds or whatever, it's time to just believe in the same. Believe in love. Believe in happiness. Believe in peace. Believe in the small grace. Believe in hope. Don't believe in negativity, believe in the positives. Smile. Hey. You are going to get through this. You need to tell yourself this. Hey, you, you are going to get through this like you got through every single thing in life. Believe in yourself. Tell yourself you love yourself and then love all the people in your life like how you love yourself. The same way you want to survive, see it for everyone else. Like everyone wants to survive. Wish everyone the best. Pray for everyone. Include everyone in your thoughts. This will, it belongs to you. The world is so small, just like the four walls that you're all in right now. But you're not in a jail. You're not in something in a negative way. You have so much great things surrounding you. All of you, listen. The people in your lives, the people who are stuck with you, hug them and tell them, I love you. Protect them with your life, pray for them. Believe that it's going to be over soon. Feed it into the minds of your loved ones and your friends and your relatives. It is going to be over soon, so they will start to believe it. Let it touch the hearts of someone who wants to hear it is going to be over soon but all you have to do is believe and send out that same aura send out everything that you can stop believing in negativity believe in the reality and do the right thing and be your own superhero in this movie you do not want to be the villain in this movie, you do not want to be bad. Novel coronavirus, COVID-19. That's your demon. That's your alien. That's what we are battling with. That's your enemy. 
No one else is your enemy out there. All you need to do is believe that greatness is going to happen. If you need something, don't kill someone for it. Ask them for it. And if they refuse you, maybe all they have is that what they have for themselves. If they give you something, accept it. Maybe that's what they can afford to give or give you from what they have. This is what you need to do now. Don't make it worse than it already is. It might get worse out there with the virus, but you have to remain safe inside with your family. The ones that is not there with you, love them from afar. As I said, we have technology. So this beautiful city that I grew up in, that's in a battlefield right now, had the opportunity, which I never forgot, and I will never forget the feeling that I had on three different occasions to cross three different people, the streets of New York that were blind. Person who is blind, tell you thank you. Trust me, it feels a vibration goes through you. You can feel it. You wanna get a lot of thank yous? All you gotta do, call a lot of people, text them, reach out to them, genuinely ask them, how are you? Let that person know something from the past that they have done for you positively that you would never forget and that you would always remember that greatness of that person. And tell that person thank you and tell them you love them. Yes, put away whatever hate you got. Tell that person you love them and you would see. Once you would feel here, you would see what you do for that person and how bright you would light that person's life up. All I need for you guys to do is believe. Believe that this will be over soon. It doesn't matter if it takes a month, two months, three months. You are your superhero. You are your family superhero. You are this world's superhero by doing the right thing. Thank you for all the positivity you have been sending me all my rasters and I want you all right now to tell me I don't want you guys this is not about sharing but I want you all to just comment and tell me Ra say hey I did it just said I did it meaning I know one of the things I spoke to you all about that you did you text someone or you call someone ask them how they are doing and if you have time you can comment some more and say how you are feeling. Everyone, please eat healthy. Do we, now I realize vaping, I call it vaping because you're inhaling the steam of something that's good for you. If you do not have all these new ingredients, trust me because this is not new for me. I've been doing this since I'm a kid. Anytime I get congestion and it's really overbearing, I get my VIX, mix it in boiling, hot, steaming water and I inhale it and I take deep breaths and I practice that. That's all you need, anything like with mental, like if you have camphor, if you have, if you do not have it, that if you do not have the, the VIX, if you have camphor, if you have peppermint oil, if you have any type of mint oils, you have any type of VIX, it does, any type, it doesn't matter the brand, as long as you get this in there and you get it to inhale. Do that. If you don't need all those orange peel things and whatever, if you have it, do it. No problem. But I'm telling you, if you're feeling congested, do it. Try all the home remedies before you go to the hospital or anything. Because you don't want to contaminate yourself. Look, try and use all the over-the-counter drugs, all your home remedies. Make sure you do that before. Try and make sure as best as possible for two days. The virus also has a psychological effect on you. Trust me, I have spoken to a lot of people who have been telling me they start feeling symptoms or afterwards when they wake up and they, not, they come jump out of it. It's not. Make sure you're sick before you go. Follow all the guidelines, all right? If you're an elderly person or you know someone who is an elderly person alone, try and call someone to get someone to go and stay with them. 
this is very important guys people that you are know that you know that's a senior citizen or couples that senior citizens right and you know they have no one if something happens to take care of them and one of them might panic or something go and be with them Trust me, as long as you have your internet on your phone or something, you're good. Your phone is just you need. Get some books, do something different. Talk to these people, gain a lot of their knowledge from the past. Trust me, being around elderly people is amazing. You guys, trust me, I was a kid once, just like all of you, and every different era has something new. Every one of you who think you are new into something, and you might think your parents are not into it, they had their time. All right, and they're still into what you are into. Think about this. So I love my grandma. My grandma, I always remember this. I would lay on her lap on a Sunday especially and no one is there. And I would, she would tell me all these amazing stories. And it lives with me. So, so speak to these people. Your loved one at home, spend time with your grandmother, your grandfather, love them. Find out about their past, what they did, how many marriages they have. They don't have a book you might be able to get a story of a lifetime out of these people your mom and dad how many of you actually know how your mom and dad met spend time with your family maybe your husband or your wife mom and dad how they met listen to the stories in each other's lives and share it amongst your friends ask them if it's shareable and share it let someone laugh share something that will make another person laugh you know someone is going through a lot Pray with them. Do the right thing. Love everyone equally. This is Ron. I love you all. I love coming out here to share this positivity. Those of you who believe in meditation, yoga, go back to my page on my go back to my page, scroll down, and you shall come across a job that I did. This is my job for the universe to battle COVID-19. I believe in it. If you believe in meditation and you want to meditate upon it, you're feeling depressed, go and meditate upon it. I have my beautiful song I compiled into nine and you can go listen to it, Shankara. It's a meditative thing as well. If you actually listen and feel the vibration of the song, it gets you closer to Shiv Shankar. Shiv Shankar Bhagwan is going to protect you. If you believe in it, he is going to do it. Whoever you believe in, I'm telling you, think about that God we are praying to. I'm asking you all to consider this one. And let's come together and think positive that whatever each other do, we all are battling this together. Love each other. Pray with each other. You guys know it's raw. And I want all of you to think positive and know that it's going to be over soon. All you need to do is believe. This is Ron, I love you all. Good night.